Hello, welcome to your yin stretch. My name is Chelsea. Um, just before we start, keeping in mind any injuries or limitations that you might be facing in your body today, just making sure that you're honoring those as we go throughout our class. I um, mean, and, and feeling free to modify anything to make it suit your body better. Uh, just not making sure that you're not forcing your body into doing something that it's just not quite ready for because you don't want to get get injured or, you know, injure current injuries further. You know what I mean? Anyway. Whenever you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and get started onto our backs in Shavasana. Just finding a comfy way to lay back. And softening the body. Good, maybe you want your legs all the way long down the mat, just letting the feet fall to the outside edges. Relaxing in the thighs and the ankles. If you have any tension or tightness in the lower back, option is to bend through the knees, placing the, excuse me, placing the soles of the feet flat on the earth, the knees pointing up to the sky. Or option is to open up the hips from supine butterfly with soles of feet to touch and knees played out wide. Good for the arms, you can have them all the way along down the body with the palms facing up to receive energy if you're feeling really, really tired or run down. Option to have the palms facing down to the earth to feel more grounded. This is really great if you've been feeling anxious or stuck in your head. Or option to have the arms all the way up above the head, opening up the shoulders, opening up the heart. Good. Wherever you find yourself, just taking a moment to let the eyes close or taking a soft focus. Bring the attention inward. And bringing the focus to the body, feeling where your body rests heavy onto your mat below you. Taking a notice, or taking a moment to notice any places that you might be holding on to tension or that might be feeling super tight. And just sending a little bit of extra love for, to, to that place right now. Excuse me. Good, now finding that breath. With every inhale, feeling your energy, feeling the body draw energy into it. Good, just getting ready to begin your practice. And then with every exhale, letting go of any distracting thoughts. Good, using the breath to center yourself, to refocus, reset the mind and intention. Coming through a cleansing breath here, bringing a deep inhale through the nose, filling up the lungs and the belly. Hold a pause at the top. Gather all the tension and anxiety that you're holding on to, and let a loud, noisy exhale through an open mouth. Put one more right there. Big inhale through the nose, filling up the lungs and the belly. Hold that pause. And then let a loud, noisy exhale through an open mouth. Just releasing and connecting to your Ujjayi Pranayama ocean sounding breath, closing the mouth to bring a slow four second inhale through the nose, holding a pause at the top of the breath, and then releasing a slow four second exhale through the nose, holding a pause at the base. And stay connected with this breath as we go through our class today. Keeping in mind, any time that you want to lay back down, return to your mat and just breathe, that option is always available to you. So gently wiggling in the fingers and toes to draw awareness back into the body. And when you're ready, opening the eyes. And if your legs aren't already, send them all the way along down the mat, pointing through the toes, engaging through the legs. Inhale, reach the arms above the head. Good, big stretch. Let that low back arch off the mat below you, lengthening your spine. And on the exhale, relaxing in the muscles, releasing arms in the cactus, 90, 90 beside the head. Good, one at a time, draw knees in the chest, wrap the arms around the shins, give the knees a big hug, and take a little rock side to side, just massaging that lower back into the mat below you. Maybe you can make the movement as big or as little as you'd like, whatever feels right for your body. Take one more deep breath. And 
coming into stillness when you're ready. Go to your next inhale, give both knees a big squeeze, and, excuse me, big squeeze into the chest, give them a big hug. And on the exhale, place that left foot flat on the earth with the knee pointing up to the sky. Good, extend that right leg up nice and high, grabbing behind thigh calf or ankle, drawing the right leg in for a single hamstring stretch. And just circling that right ankle out a few times at the top. Good, moving nice and slow. With every point of the toe, feeling a nice stretch throughout the shin. And then with every flex through that foot, getting a nice stretch throughout the calf. Good, press into the heel. Just reverse that circle here. Good, and take two more deep breaths. You can always bring a little bend into that right knee if you need. Working on stretching out that hamstring. And then when you're ready, we're bringing that right knee bent to 90, crossing the right foot up and over the meaty part of the left thigh, pressing the right knee away from you. So we're here coming into our uh, supine figure four. You can keep that left foot down if that feels right, if that's where you want to stay. To deepen the stretch, you can bring that left leg in a little bit closer. Maybe you want to wrap the hands around the thigh or around the shin. Or option is to extend that left leg all the way up to the sky, grabbing onto the ankle. You just want to feel the tailbone reaching to the mat behind you, so you don't want to feel like you're lifting the hips up. Okay, just take whatever option works for you. The closer you draw that left foot into the chest, the deeper into that right hip that you're going to get. Maybe you want to close the eyes, stay relaxed in the neck and the shoulders. And just take a couple more deep breaths here. The last big inhale. And then on the exhale, we're placing that left foot back on the mat, but keep that right foot crossed. Release the arms in the cactus, 90-90 beside the head. Go to flex the right foot. You just let that right foot sort of fall to the left side of the mat. So you want to keep the chest facing up to the sky. You're just stretching out that right IT band, the outside of the right thigh. So keep the knee pointing up to the sky if you can. That option to close the eyes, just taking a few deep breaths. Nice and relaxed in the neck and the shoulders. Then on your next inhale, very carefully guiding those legs back up to the center, but you want to keep that right foot crossed. Good, here we're fully tossing that right thigh over the left thigh, bringing the knees into the chest. Reaching the hands up, either grabbing an outside grip of the uh, calves or grabbing onto an outside grip of the feet if you can reach. You just want to keep the heels lifted away from the fifth bone so you're not letting them drop. Getting a nice stretch in the right glutes and your whale's tail. Keep the feet flexed and you're pulling the feet away from each other so the soles of the feet are facing opposite sides of the room. Then again, staying relaxed in the shoulders and the neck. And taking a few deep breaths. And last big inhale, filling up the lungs and the belly. And then on the exhale, very slowly, carefully uncross the legs from each other, hug the knees into the chest. Just take a little rock side to side. And finding your center whenever you feel ready, coming into stillness. And again, on your next inhale, give both knees a big squeeze into the chest. And on the exhale, place that right foot flat on the earth with the knee pointing up to the sky. And that left leg all the way up high, single leg hamstring stretch, grabbing behind the leg wherever you can reach, and then connecting slow circles with that left ankle. So just warming up the joints, again with every point of the toe, getting a nice stretch through the shin, with every flex of that heel, getting a nice stretch through the calf. Always option is to bring that little bend into the knee. Switching that direction, reversing the circle, and taking another deep breath, and getting a nice stretch through the hamstring, draw that leg in a little bit closer, and then when you're ready, flexing through that heel, bringing that knee bent to 90, and uh, crossing that left foot up and over the meaty part of the right thigh, releasing the arms of the cactus, or we're actually not releasing the arms of the cactus, or you can if you want to, you can stay here. 
or you can always bring that right leg in a little bit closer and you can lace the fingers behind that right thigh or the shin or always option is to bring it all the way up to the sky and just staying relaxed in the neck and the shoulders keeping that left knee pressing wide nice and deep into the left hip and just taking a few more deep breaths Maybe you want to close the eyes, maybe taking note of how this side feels different than the other. Let's take one more big inhale, filling up the lungs and the belly. And on the, on the exhale, to actually replacing that right foot back to the earth, releasing the arms and the crutches, rolling 90 beside the head, and then slowly letting that left foot fall to the right side of the mat so the uh, left knee points up to the sky. Again, keeping the chest lifted up to the sky, getting a nice stretch in that left leg three times, and taking a few deep breaths. And as you inhale, very carefully bringing those legs back up to center. This time we're fully crossing that left thigh over the right, bring the knees into the chest, grab uh, those hands up to grab onto the outside of the calves, or always option to grab onto the outside of the feet if you can reach. Again, just staying relaxed in the upper body and keeping the heels lifted away from the sit bones so that you're not letting them drop. Getting a nice stretch in that left glute for your whale's tail, just pulling the feet away from each other, keeping them flat. Kind of deepening into the pose as much as you can. And ultimately trying to get the shins into a straight line. So that's kind of the ultimate goal of this pose, making it like the actual shape of a whale's tail. But parallel. <laughs> if you've got really flexible hips. Good, take one more deep inhale, filling up the lungs and the belly. And then on the exhale, carefully uncross the legs, hug the knees into the chest, and take a little rock side to side. Take a deep breath. And coming into stillness when you're ready, good. Bring those legs all the way up to the sky. Double hamstring stretch, grab your behind thighs, calves, or ankles. Always option is to bring a little bend. And you can stay in stillness if you'd like, staying relaxed in the neck and the shoulders, or if you want to come through a little point in a flex. You can, you can do it together if you want. But again, stretching out the shins and the calves and the hamstrings, draw those legs in a little bit closer, take two more deep breaths. And then when you're ready, flexing through both heels, bringing a bend into both knees as you open up the hips, grab an inside or outside grip of the feet, coming into happy baby. So you have the option if that feels like it's a little bit too much, to grab onto the um, calves or the thighs instead. You just want to keep the ankles stacked over top of the knees, so the feet are facing it to the sky. And you're relaxed in the neck and the shoulders, maybe you're rocking side to side. They come into stillness. So here I want you to feel yourself Pull your uh, knees closer to the earth, pull the feet down as you at the same time press the feet up into the hands, that opposing forces here, building up that tension, and then release, feel it soften and relax. Little one more time here, pulling those feet down, pressing the feet up into the hands, build that tension, good, flex the feet, press through the heels, you got it, pull, and then soften. Good. Here, use the hands to close the feet together, bring the knees to touch, and release the arms into catches, standing 90 beside the head. Option is to keep those knees crossed, or keep the knees side by side, or you can cross that right leg over the left. Inhale, draw the knees to chest, and exhale, release the legs to the left side of the mat. Option, gaze over that right shoulder, coming into a spinal twist. You have the option here to place that left hand outside, right side, applying a little pressure, 
just staying relaxed in the upper body. You want to feel that right shoulder blade still press down into the earth, getting a nice twist in the spine. Good. As you inhale, carefully uncross the legs to turn the knee to center and gently rock it out side to side to neutralize. Coming into stillness again, often you can keep those knees side by side or you can cross that left knee over the right. Inhale, draw the knees to chest and exhale, release the legs to the right. Often gaze over that left shoulder. And option always is to place the right hand outside, left thigh, applying a little pressure. Just keeping that left shoulder blade pulsing down into the earth and the spinal tip. Very carefully on your next inhale, uncross the legs, turn the knees to the chest, and just rock it out side to side. And coming into stillness, extend your right arm all the way up above your head, rolling all the way over onto your right side, coming into fetal position, letting your right cheek rest inside of your right bicep. Taking a quick moment here to set a positive intention for yourself, reminding yourself how strong you are in many more ways than you even know. And then when you're ready, pressing yourself up to grab some water, we will meet in seated, actually we'll meet in tabletop. We'll meet in tabletop. With your hands about shoulder width apart. Good, so here, try to bring your right foot in between your hands. So your left knee's over top of your left hip, your right knee's over top of the right ankle. And all you're going to do is just slowly heel toe this feet away from each other, just so that when you straighten your right leg, you want your left hip to be stacked over top of the knee. Your right leg is as straight as you can make it. Good. Flexing through the right foot, or you can point through the toe if that feels better. When you point through the toe, it makes this tendon a little bit shorter. So when you flex through the heel, you're actually pulling that tendon, you're making it tighter, and that's what uh, really gets that sensation of the stretch. So doing whatever you feel uh, is right for your body. We're gonna just go ahead and hold this for one minute, that's it. Try to count how many breaths it takes you to hold it for one minute. And then remember that number and see if you can count it when we do the other side. See if those breaths match up. Good, those slow four second inhales and those slow four second exhales. Good. Pulling the right toes toward the right shin. And getting a little bit deeper with those exhales, softening there. Let's just take one more deep breath. And then with your next exhale, very slowly walk the hands forward, bend into that front knee so that you're stacking it over top of the heel. Good, really press that left hip open. You wanna make sure that right knee doesn't go over the toes though, so you wanna again, just keep it stacked over top of the ankle. Good, and when you're ready, meeting back in through center, carefully return that right leg back to the mat coming into tabletop. Good, reach both arms forward, keep the hips stacked over top of the knees, keep those toes tucked, and just surrender the chest to the mat. We're coming into extended puppy, getting a nice stretch in the shoulders. So for the full variation of this pose, try to bring the chin to the mat to keep the throat open. Or if you want a less intense version, you can just bring the forehead down. Then continue to reach the arms forward, opening up the shoulders. Our shoulders and our hips are two places that we hold on to a lot of uh, tension. So if they feel tight, then just send a little bit of extra love there right now. 
Then when you're ready, meeting back up into tabletop. This time that left foot comes forward. Again, I'm just gonna move this. This might, which I should have done. Well, I shouldn't. I should do it right now when I'm doing it. That's exactly what I should do. There we go, hands are on the mat. So we're here walking that left foot forward, just inching it forward as much as you can. Good, so that one, you straighten that left leg, you make sure that right hip stacks over top of the knee. You can either, again, flex through that left foot, drawing the toes toward the uh, shin, or you can place that left foot on the mat to make that tendon a little bit uh, shorter. Longer? Longer. Shorter. Shorter. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. We're holding it for one minute. I'm just breathing deep in the, in the meantime. And again, try to count how many breaths, maybe. If you're staying on that same rhythm, how many breaths did you get to last time? Just imagining that you're getting a little bit deeper, a little bit softer with those exhales. Yeah, remember the hands are there to help support you. Relax the forehead, soften the brows, and just take one more big breath, one more deep breath. And with the next exhale, slowly, carefully walk the hands forward as you bend into that front knee. It stacks over top of the heel. Yep, I don't know how long I was back there for. So the front knee stacks over top of the heel. Good, and we're really opening up through that right hip. Again, you want to make sure that the left knee never goes over the toes. Let's press the hip a little bit lower. You got it. And then release, bringing that left knee into tabletop. Good. Here, that left hand comes center mat. On the inhale, reach the right arm up to the sky. Open up the chest. Lift the gaze. Try to stack the shoulders. And then on the exhale, that right hand threads underneath the left, drop the right shoulder. Option to send that left arm long or option to bring that left hand behind the body, really pressing into that right shoulder, coming into our twisted puppy. Then when you're ready, that left hand returns to, mat, to the mat, press the mat away from you. That right hand comes center mat and inhale, that left arm reaches up to the sky, open up the chest, stack the shoulders, lift the gaze, and then exhale, that left hand threads underneath that right arm. Good option here is to extend that right arm long or to bring the right hand behind the body, coming into twisted puppy. Take one more deep breath. Good, very carefully replacing that right hand to the earth, press the mat away from you, untuck the toes, and send it back just for a quick child, just to really, really reach the arms forward. And whenever you're ready, pressing yourself up and meeting onto your sits bones. I'm gonna move this, because I feel like, I hope you heard me. I hope that sound didn't just cut out. I guess we'll find out later when you're ready we're going to be sending our legs all the way along down the mat removing the fleshy part from underneath our sits bones so you can really really ground down good we're here crossing that right ankle over the left ankle on the inhale reach the arms up to the sky lengthen the spine good big shoulder stretch feel it in the side bodies and then on the exhale hinging from the hips reaching the arms forward letting them fall wherever they do and just letting the forehead hang heavy Good. Maybe grabbing onto the calves, maybe resting the hands onto the mat. Maybe you want to try to feel yourself pull a little bit closer to your legs. Again, using the breath, using the exhales to get a little bit deeper. Just take two more deep breaths. That's it. Good. One more big inhale. 
And then on the exhale, letting the arms and head hang heavy toward the mat. Next inhale, very slowly, carefully rolling up the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. That gaze will lift last and circle the shoulders forward a few times. Good, and back. And then when you're ready, bring those legs in. So we're crossing the legs. So the right leg is crossed in front of the left leg. I'll just sort of turn myself this way. Good, getting a nice even stretch in the hips here. So the uh, hand, right hand on right knee, left hand on left knee. As you inhale, sit up nice and tall, grow through the crown of the head, open up the, chin, uh, the throat by lifting the chin, lift the gaze. Good, and on the exhale, round the spine, contract the core, tuck the chin into the chest and pull back on the knees, feel the shoulder blades open behind you. Again, inhale to lengthen through the spine, sit up nice and tall, draw the shoulders down away from the ears, lift the chin, lift the gaze. And then exhale, round and tuck, really contracting that core. Good, making it tight. Draw the belly button toward the spine. One more time here, big inhale to lift it up nice and high. Good, lift the gaze, shoulders down. And then exhale, we round and tuck, contracting that core. A little pull back on those knees. Good, inhale to sit up nice and tall. Place the hands on the mat in front of you. And on the exhale, just walk it forward as deep as you can. Place the forearms down and let the head hang heavy. Good, take two deep breaths here. And then as you inhale, slowly rolling the body up, walking the hands back, good, sitting up nice and tall. Good, reach both arms up to the sky, connect the palms, option to uh, come into a little back bend maybe you want to interlace those fingers and just point those pointer fingers up to the sky good and then on the exhale just return the spine back through neutral good take one more inhale to reach the arms up to the sky and then on the exhale this time that right arm bends the right hand places at the base of the neck so the fingertips point down toward uh, the lower back and then that left hand grabs onto the right elbow. We pull it back here, get a nice tricep stretch. Option to keep your gaze neutral, or you can bring it underneath the armpit. And if you're feeling real flexible, I'm not, but you can try to bend into the uh, uh, elbows. when well, you're obviously bending into the elbows, but you can try to grab the hands behind you. Good, and just pull those arms away from each other. If you have like a towel or a resistance band, that makes that one a little bit easier. But I don't like that one, so I'm not gonna do it. Good, just take two more deep breaths, that's it. Sitting it nice and tall, you don't want to round that spine. All right, when you're ready, return your body back through center. As you inhale, lift that left arm up to the sky, good reach, and then on the exhale, bring it forward, the palm faces up. Inhale, the right arm lifts and lengthens. And then on the exhale, we cross that right arm over the left. Option here is to use the hand to pull the arm back, or you can place the arm in the crook of the elbow and just pull it back here, getting a nice stretch in that left shoulder. Good, take one big inhale. And then on the exhale, just letting the arms fall heavy and give it a little shake, shake, shake. We're keeping that left foot into the right thigh and that right leg goes out to the side. Good, flexing through that right foot. So you wanna keep the leg engaged. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky, square the shoulders toward that front leg. And then on the exhale, we fold and let the head hang heavy. Good, next inhale, slowly roll up the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. The head is still hanging nice and heavy. And we're lengthening that spine, lift the gaze last. Good, reach the arms up to the sky, big stretch, open up the throat, square the shoulders, and then exhale, we hinge from the hips and let the head hang heavy. Good, this time we hold. Let's take two more deep breaths. And then on your next inhale, slowly rolling up the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, and lifting the gaze last. Good, here you wanna square the hips, square the shoulders so that they're facing directly in front of you. So the right leg is kind of out to the side. 
you can bring it out a little bit wider if you want. You can open it up as wide as you can, uh, as wide as you want. You just want to keep that left leg in. And then all we're doing here is option to bring those forearms onto the mat. Maybe you want to just keep those palms down. You want to make sure that you're not rounding in the spine. You want to keep the chest lifted, shoulders back so that you're hinging from the hips and you work on opening up the hips here rather than just rounding and concaving. So uh, by doing that, you're keeping the hips where they are. You're just kind of flopping that spine over. So you want to keep the hips. It's like a, you want to do this rather than that. You know what I mean? Anyway, the hands come down to the mat or the forearms come down. And we're just going to hold this one for one minute. That's it. Good over time working on getting the body a little bit closer to the earth. You want to feel the sits bones still reaching for the mat behind you. So you don't want to let the sits bones lift off the mat. Just going to take two more deep breaths. That's it. And as you inhale, slowly walking the hands back up the mat, Good. sitting up nice and tall. And just roll the shoulders out a few times. When you're ready, use the hands to carefully bend into that right leg. Place the right foot on the mat in front of you. Interlace the fingers behind the right thigh. And you want to point through the toe. So sit up nice and tall. Shoulders are back and the spine is lengthened. As you inhale, we lengthen through that right leg, bringing it up to the sky. Keep the toe pointed just as high as you can. And then on the exhale, we slowly, carefully bend into that knee. Good little tap. Give the mat a little kiss. Again, inhale, bring it all the way up, pointing through the toe. Nice hamstring stretch. And then exhale, we slowly, carefully bring it back down. Good last one. Big inhale. And then exhale, slowly, carefully release. Good. That knee falls to the side. The feet come together, knees out wide, coming into our butterfly pose. So here, just use the thumbs to massage the bottoms of the feet. Okay, getting nice and deep into the arches, into the heels, into the calves. Just taking a quick moment to really, really be grateful for your health and for the ability to, to come to your mat, to spend these moments, spend this time working on yourself. Just always recalling the things that you're grateful for so that you keep getting more of those, so that you keep getting more good health. You keep getting more time to spend on yourself. And just finish up wherever you, wherever you are when you're ready. Use the hands to guide the knees together. Send the legs out long. And again, just remove the flesh apart from underneath the sits bones. Really, really grounding down. Good, those legs are long. Cross that left heel over top of the right. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Big stretch, good length in the spine. And then on the exhale, hinging from the hips, reaching forward, grabbing onto calves, ankles, or toes. Let the head uh, hang heavy. Eyes are closed. Next inhale, slowly, carefully rolling up the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. And that gaze will lift last. We're bringing those legs in so that we're crossing that left heel in front of the, or left ankle in front of the right this time. Left hand to left knee, right hand to right knee. And again, as we inhale, lengthening through the spine, lift the gaze, open up the throat. Good. And as you exhale around the spine, contract the core. Draw the belly button toward the spine, tuck the chin into the chest, and pull back on those knees. Open up the shoulder blades. Good. Inhale to lengthen up the spine. Sit up nice and tall. Draw the shoulders down the back, away from the ears. Lift the chin. And then exhale around and tuck. Good. Contracting that core. Pulling back on those knees. And one more time here. Big inhale. Lift it up nice and high. Open up the throat. Open up the heart. 
and then exhale, round and tuck. Good, really contracting that core. Nice inhale, inhale to sit up nice and tall. And then on the exhale, walking the hands forward. Good, bringing the forearms down, maybe letting the head hang heavy. Continuing to reach the tailbone down to the mat behind you. And slowly walking the hands back up on your next inhale. Good, sitting up nice and tall, reaching the arms up to the sky. Good, big stretch. And then carefully bending into that left elbow, placing the uh, left palm at the base of the neck. That right hand grabs onto the left elbow and we pull it back, getting a nice tricep stretch. Your optional is just to stay right here or you can deepen it by trying to come into that bind. But I'm not gonna do that. Still sitting up nice and tall. Keeping the throat open, chest open. Option gaze underneath that armpit. Good, returning the body back through center. Inhale, lifts that right arm up to the sky, reaching it up nice and high. And then on the exhale, right hand falls forward, bring the palm to face up. Good, inhale, left arm lifts and lengthens. And then exhale, we cross that left arm over the right. Option to use the palm or the elbow to pull that left arm back, getting a nice stretch throughout the shoulder. Good, just letting the head or letting the hand hang. And take a couple deep breaths. Good, last big inhale. And then on the exhale, letting the arms hang heavy and just rolling it out. So we're here keeping that left foot inside the, or right foot inside that left thigh and sending that left leg out in front of us. Good, inhale, we reach both arms up to the sky, big stretch, uh, square the shoulders toward that front leg and then exhale, hinge from the hips, reach forward, good move slowly, let the forehead hang heavy. And then as you inhale, very slowly, carefully rolling up the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Good, moving slow, 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 sitting up nice and tall. Good, reach the arms up to the sky. Big stretch, square the shoulders, and then we hinge from the hips, reach it forward and fold. Good, just letting the arms fall where they do. You can always bring a little bend into that knee if you need. And taking a few more deep breaths, getting a little bit deeper into it. Every time you exhale, you can always point through the toe again if that feels better. As you inhale, very slowly, carefully rolling up the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. And just roll the shoulders out a few times. So here you have the option to bring that left foot out a, a little bit more, a little bit wider. I wish I had something. I wonder if this it just feels like a lot on the, the floor, you know? It's nice to have something cushion the heel. That doesn't really do much. Anyway, when you're ready, your hips are squared forward. You can have that left leg out as far as you want. You just wanna make sure that you're keeping the hips down and you keep that spine long. You don't wanna to start to round in that back. Good, inhale to lengthen through the spine. You can reach the arms up to the sky if you want. That's just an option. Good, and then on the exhale, you wanna feel your chest reach forward, your tailbone reaches back, and you can just, uh, maybe you just wanna walk the hands out. Good, come into it however you want. Good, and we're just holding this one for one minute. That's it. And again, see if you can get a little bit deeper into it with those exhales. Good, 
and take one more deep breath. And then as you inhale, very slowly, carefully, walking the hands back, sitting up nice and tall. Good. Bringing a little bend into that left knee, using the hands to help guide you, placing that left foot flat on the earth with the knee pointing up to the sky. Fingertips interlace around that thigh, and we point through that toe. Again, sitting up nice and tall as we inhale, straighten through that left leg, bringing it up to the sky. Good. And then on the exhale, bending through the knee, giving the mat a little kiss, pointing through those toes. Again, inhale to lengthen through that left leg, get a nice hamstring stretch, you're still sitting up tall. And then exhale to bend through the knee, give the mat a little kiss. And one more time here, inhale, straighten through that left leg, pointing through the toe, and then exhale, bending through the knee. Good, this time you release that knee to the side, feet come together, knees out wide, coming into butterfly. Again, really grounding through those hips, or through the sit bones rather. The hands onto the uh, heels. Inhale to sit up nice and tall, shoulders back, lengthen through the spine, open up the chest. And then exhale, pulling the chest forward, bending into the elbows. You can either rest the elbows inside the knees or you can bring the forearms to the mat and just let the head hang nice and heavy. And maybe you wanna reach the arms forward and surrender that chest. If you have a yoga block or something, you can relax your forehead onto it or even use your water bottle. Good, just take five big breaths. Three more deep breaths. To the last full breath. And then when you're ready, very slowly, carefully, good, walking the hands back. Keep the legs where they are. Bring that left hand to the right ankle. Good, and reach that right hand around behind you, coming into a nice spinal twist. Open up the chest. Good, you don't want to sink in that back shoulder. You want to feel like you're pressing the mat away from you growing through the crown of your head, an option is to bring the gaze over the left shoulder to, or right shoulder toward the back of the room, getting a nice stretch in the left side of the neck. Good, inhale, return your body back through center. Bring the same hand to the same ankle and just sit here for one full breath. Good, pressing those knees down to the earth. You just wanna neutralize the spine here. And then when you're ready, that right hand comes onto left heel. Left hand reaches back. Good, you're sitting up nice and tall, lengthening through the spine, growing through the crown of your head. An option gaze over that uh, left shoulder toward the back of the room, getting a nice stretch on the right side of the neck. Good, return your hands back through center, left hand to left heel, right hand to right heel, and sit here nice and tall. Good, draw the shoulders down the back, open up the chest, lift the gaze, and then exhale, return the chest back through center. Good, bring the hands outside the knees, get the knees together, bring the legs out long, and just give it a little shake, shake, shake. And again, remove the fleshy part from underneath the sit bones, really, really grounding down. Inhale as you reach both arms up to the sky, lengthening the spine, sitting up nice and tall. And then on the exhale, hinging from the hips, good, reach the arms forward, grabbing onto calves, ankles, or toes. Let the eyes close, let the head hang nice and heavy. And just take a quick moment while you're down here to set a positive intention for the rest of your evening or for the rest of your weekend or week or whenever you're doing this. Taking a quick moment to thank yourself for taking the time out of your day and investing this, you know, even if it was just 45 minutes, that's really important that you take the time to do that. And you should be proud. And when you're ready, sitting up nice and tall, good, give yourself a high five. Thank you for coming and sharing your energy with me. I super duper appreciate it and I hope that you have a great weekend, right? We both hope that you have a great weekend.
Okay. 